Greetings, and welcome to the video demonstration for Team Slackhammer's mobile banking application for IST-421. This video has been broken into three key sections. They include a general overview of the application, its stakeholders, and its overall purpose. A general overview of the design process, including the tools and methods used. A thorough breakdown of the application and its functionality. So let's get started. Liberty Credit Union, also known as LCU, is a banking firm located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania that currently serves over 50,000 clients. A significant number of LCU's clients, however, don't live nearby any of LCU's banking branches. LCU decided that in order to remain competitive, the company would have to allow easier access to its banking services. While LCU already offers online banking services, many of its competitors offer a mobile banking application. LCU decided to also create a mobile app for its bank and approach Team Swackhammer for the design and implementation. Based on LCU's needs, we began to create a project plan to build and test LCU's new application. Our main stakeholders for the project included MK Larson, the current branch manager for LCU, the LCU bank itself, which would benefit from the added value, and LCU's current and potential new customers. Our main goals, based on the needs of these stakeholders, was to create a mobile application that would allow LCU customers to monitor their accounts, transfer funds, and generally have easy access to their accounts from their mobile device. So now let's take a look at some of the tools and the team's overall design mythology in building the application. Our team began the design process by analyzing the requirements of the user and using this information to perfect the overall application layout. We then created some tests to gather opinions and preferences from our stakeholders. Based on our research, we decided to emulate the look and feel of banking apps from companies like Bank of America and Union Bank. This meant simple, bold colors, easy navigation, and a clean layout. We began by creating models of the general layouts using UML to ensure our designs were standardized throughout the development process. Based on our diagrams and gathered requirements, we began building a prototype application. Our main development tool for the project was Tigzy. Tigzy is a cloud-based rapid application development tool sold by Exadel. The main benefit of Tigzy is that it allowed our team to streamline development and use a single tool for collaboration and design. Tigzy uses three main language standards that helped us unify our programming, JavaScript, HTML, and REST APIs. As the application began to take shape, we started to tweak the design based on feedback and testing. Tigzy has a built-in iPhone emulator, which we use for testing and this demonstration video. This saved the design team considerable headache as developing in real iOS environment requires an Apple developer's license and can be cost prohibitive. Another nice feature is the inclusion of the back-end systems in the form of cloud-based databases, allowing us to simulate LCU's banking database for testing. So now let's take a look at the application itself and demonstrate its functionality. We are now in the emulation program for the iOS environment in the Tigzy platform. This emulator will allow us to see how the application will perform on an actual iPhone or iPad. The first thing the user will see is the login screen. The user's login information is stored in the database. It was added by the bank when the user created their account. For our demonstration, we'll be using Bob. Bob doesn't know this, so please don't tell him. Just to demonstrate some of the error handling, let's enter a wrong password. We can see that a screen comes up telling us to try again. So let's correct our password and try again. Now what the application is doing is using a REST API we called Login Service to connect to our database and check our credentials. Success! So now we are in the main menu of the application. You can see we stuck with a simple and clean interface that allows for intuitive navigation. The main menu has a number of buttons which we will navigate through shortly. Along the bottom bar, we have some quick navigation buttons. The House button, titled Main Menu, allows the user to quickly return to the Main Menu page at any time. 
the button with the gear image titled Settings takes the user to the Settings page where they can change their login information. Finally, the button with the info icon titled Get Help allows the user to go to the contact page where they can request support from LCU. So let's walk through the functionality of the system. First, we are going to see how much money Bob has in his account. To do this, we click on the View Accounts button. This action contacts the database through a REST API we named Account ID List. This service asks the database to give it all the current accounts tied to Bob. Since Bob only has one account, that is all the information that displays. We click on the Account ID, which then takes us to the main account page which lists Bob's recent transactions and current balances. All this information is pulled from the database and displayed on these pull down tabs. The transactions we are shown information like the date the transaction was made and the amount. Under the account balance tab we can see the previous balance, available balance, and current balance of the account. Bob looks like he's doing alright. Let's go and change that. So now let's hit the transfer button which takes us to the transfer menu. Here we see the user can either view recent transactions or start a new one. Let's go ahead and transfer $100 from Bob's account to ours. You should have bought us lunch like we asked for, Bob. After entering our information, we select a date and then hit transfer. Our JavaScript coding performs a number of tasks here. First, the balance is pulled from the database. Then some math is performed using the amount entered for the transfer. The code then sends the new information back to the account, updating the balance. An alert message then pops up letting us know whether or not the transfer succeeded. So let's see if it added our new transfer to the recent transfers page. We scroll down and see that the transfer was successfully logged so let's return to the main menu page. Let's now take a look at the check services menu. In this menu we see the user is able to enter a LCU check number and see what its status is. We enter a check number we know and hit submit. In the background, the application passes the check number to the database using a REST API called FindCheck. The service populates the next page with the check information and then sends the user to that page once it's finished loading. Now we're taken to a separate page where we see the check's info. Everything checks out. So let's return to the main menu. Now let's go to the settings page and change Bob's password. It's short all of that. We can see that the settings page is also simple to use. The user just enters their current name and password, and then the new username and password they want to use. So let's keep the username the same, but change the password to 124. In the background, a REST API service called Sign Up Service passes some JavaScript to check the old password entered with the one on file. If this succeeds, then the new username and password are added to the database. So now we head back to the main menu and then log out to see if the new password works. Success! We can now log in using our new password. So let's head for our final menu option. The contact button is the final menu option available in the first release of the application. Clicking on the button takes us to the contact us page. On this page the user can enter a message and their email and send the message to LCU. This message is stored on the backend database where the LCU staff can read it and then reply to the message using the given email. We feel kind of bad for Bob, so let's ask them to reset the account password and send it to his email. And the message is away. This concludes our walkthrough and demonstration. We hope you have enjoyed our walkthrough of LCU's mobile banking application. If you have any additional questions, please contact one of our helpful staff members. Thanks for watching.